some more of the day's news now and campaigners say they're cautiously optimistic that a judicial review into the Home Office's plans to house asylum seekers at RAF Scampton will go their way. The much-anticipated legal case will begin tomorrow in the High Court. Emma Wilkinson has been at Scampton today to gauge how people are feeling. The protesters, the flags, the banners, the tents are now a familiar sight outside RAF Scampton. A lot has happened over the past seven months since the Immigration Minister stood up in the House of Commons and confirmed that this site would be used to house asylum seekers. He said the basic accommodation was needed in order to reduce the use of expensive hotels. Well, that day, many local people and some further afield vowed to do everything within their power to stop those plans becoming reality. Their reasons, their motivations for doing so vary, but all hope that when these plans are scrutinised in court, they will be stopped once and for all. A bit anxious, to be fair, because if it doesn't go our way, we're not quite sure what that plan B is going to be like, you know? But at the end of the day, we don't want this, this historical base turned into what, what they want it to become like. Oh, there's an awful lot around this. It's a big thing. It's fear. That's the biggest thing in the community now, it's fear, uh, fear to what expect. House prices have plummeted, they're not listening to the people. Well, one local resident who has fought this from the outset is Sarah Carter, who leads the Save Our Scampton campaign. She was camped just a bit further down the road here for the past 32 days, but she has now packed up her things and is heading down to London so she can be there for the judicial review. It's it's really hard. It's frustrating because I know that I, I have no control over what's going to happen and this is a major sort of life-changing result that we're going to have in court either way. I feel we've got a really strong case. West Lindsay District Council wouldn't waste that sort of money fighting a legal case if, if we didn't have a really good case. Well, West Lindsay District Council, which brought this legal challenge, has claimed from the outset that the Home Office's plans are not legal. It has had a stop notice in place here for a number of weeks because it says the work that's ongoing is breaching planning rules. So it's very much looking forward to putting its arguments in front of a judge. And for those who have spent many hours and a lot of money fighting these plans, it will be a nervous couple of days.